Hey guys, how's it going? Tell here. Welcome back to the channel and a special edition Funko Pop hunting in Sweden. That is right. I am currently in the Freys Hotel in Sweden. Quite a nice little hotel. We've stayed here for one night now, so it's a little bit messy. Um, location is brilliant. We are right in the city. I'm not sure if you can see anything from this side. Nothing really from this side. That side, no, nah, you can't see nothing. But the location is absolutely brilliant. Um, my sister is already in the city centre already, um, so I'm going to go meet her shortly. Last night we saw the 1975 at the Telly 2 Arena, that was really, really good. So yeah, today, a chance to explore Stockholm today, go try and find some Funko Pops, I'm not sure how well, well and renowned uh, Stockholm is for Funko Pop hunting. But let's get going guys and see what we can find today, let's go. We had a very interesting experience at West Brompton, but these hotels, lifts, not too bad. Very, very fancy, these ones. So, Stockholm, doing all right. So, we're making a little pit stop to the Opera House in Stockholm, and it is just starting to snow. It's absolutely, it's absolutely freezing, but I'm actually not too cold. My ears are cold. So, yeah, we're going to over this bridge now and see the other side of Stockholm. I'm going to narrate over all of this. So this shop in particular, you wasn't allowed to um, actually film in store. So I just filmed what was in the window. But nothing uh, uh, special has to be said. But there was the four hammer. That was about the coolest thing in the shop. Uh, a lot of these stores that we do visit, I couldn't even tell you their names. But this one was called um, the Science Fiction Store. Uh, a handful of pops in separate uh, areas of the store. Uh, but they did have a very dusty Darth Vader and Edward Scissorhands. Uh, in the shop, as you see, they had Mobius, a few Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse pops. And I actually remember seeing um, an Alison Hightower on sale as I did enter the store. But as you can see, uh, the pops were very much spread out. So we've got the Stranger Things pops, just the commons. Um, I think we see Cocaine Bear as well. Some, is that the Witcher as well? Some. So yeah, nothing um, particularly interesting taking my eye at the moment. Um, now here's just a bit of footage from Sweden, um, these these were filmed all horizontally so um, they are all close up and of course Sweden has Ikea City, it did look really cool as well, you can order like meatballs on the menu just like you would in McDonald's, um, this was like an electronic shop, a bit like a Curry's here in the UK but again uh, pop wise nothing special really, all typical commons that you still see here in the UK especially like in Mankind and Smiths it's all that kind of vibe really with all the pops that we are finding now this shop was called World of Toys now straight away I was like this is my kind of store they had Peter B Parker with Mayday, uh, a Funko Special Edition st uh, sticker as well. Um, and then once I saw that pop, I was like, this this shop should have some decent pops. They also had the Special Edition Captain America, um, Captain America with the shield, the iconic um, alleyway scene where he holds the shield to defend himself. So yeah, I was really impressed to see uh, this pop as well. Um, do stay tuned. Do stay tuned for the rest of the video to see uh, what pops we do pick up. Um, and then as you see in the background, there's a bit more Pokemon, you can see Meowth, a bit of Guardians of the Galaxy, a Peacemaker, um, a John Shelby from Peaky Blinders. Now, a lot of that Mech Strike stuff, which then very weird bar um, Marvel ones. Um, had some Barbie Pops as well, Western Barbie, Western Ken, uh, a few special edition Moana Pops. Um, but again, just the one shelf, so a lot of these stores weren't very spread out. Uh, this was a, a music store um, in Stockholm, uh, as you see, just uh, typical music pops. The coolest pop there for me was the Ed Sheeran one, but uh, you can get that one here in the UK. I think you can get that on Funko Europe as well still. And then uh, here's a bit more footage from Stockholm itself. Um, like I said, I did film these uh, originally for TikTok, so they're a lot more cropped. Hey guys, so we are back from Stockholm, back in the nice warm. Having said that though, Stockholm was really really cold. We had temperatures up as low as minus four, and then in the day it was about minus one zero degrees. It's pretty pretty cold. I was probably one of the only people in Stockholm not to wear a woolly hat, so I did brave it out as much as I could. But I absolutely hate the cold. Having um, said that, I did pick up a pop from the that sh shop. You could probably guess from World of Toys. So I did carry this bag all the way back uh, from Stockholm, just like this. I carried it on the plane like this, and. The pop I did get. I'm just wondering what else I've got in this bag here. There's something at the bottom. Ah, uh, it's my it's my trusty headband that I wore all around all around Stockholm to keep my ears warm. So 
Yeah, this dummy wonders in Stockholm, I have to say. It cost me 13 sec, which equaled about £6. But honestly, I'm, I'm quite fussy when it comes to wearing hats. I've got quite big ears. So when I wear hats here, my ears stick out. So I've got this like headband to keep my ears warm. So try to be a bit clever there. Um, but the pop I did pick up, I'm not too sure on the condition of it now. As it, I've commuted with it quite a while. But I did pick up Peter B. Parker and Mayday. Um, a pop that has sold out here in the UK on Funky Europe. I'm not sure if they have restocked it or not. But um, as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, I actually uh, should pick it up. I did check the price. It does say 199 sec, uh, sticker just there, which equaled about £16.5p. So, yeah, not too bad. I think you're, it's probably about right uh, for what the price would be. Um, but, yeah, really tough to get this one. I was just seeing if I've got anything nearby to help me open the box. So, there we go. Peter B. Parker. And Mayday. Feels a long time since I actually took a pop out of the box and actually showed it on camera as well. Yeah. Some cool features about the pop that I do like. The, of course, the dressing gown's pretty cool. But the slippers. Uh, not sure if we're going to get... But the slippers... The slippers actually say, Cool Dad, which is pretty, pretty cool. But uh, the hair detail as well is very good. So, yeah, really impressed with that one. So, when Funko do release pops... And special, especially our special edition pops. I feel like they do a really good job. So, yeah. So, yeah. Peter B. Parker and Mayday. Is it one pop? Is it two pops? I'd probably count that as one pop, to be honest with you. I feel like these pops are going to be worth a bit of money in the future once we do get the third instalment of the uh, film. Uh, overall, guys, a really, really great uh, weekend in Sweden. Uh, I didn't just go for pop hunting. I did go for a concert and uh, just a nice little city break. And uh, just to try new countries. Never been to Sweden before. And uh, went to Stockholm. So went to the capital and that was great fun. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it then, guys, for today's video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Was there any pops that I did miss on the shelves that I should have picked up? Maybe that Captain America one. That was pretty cool. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section uh, down below, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you could hit that thumbs up button for me, that would be brilliant. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.